Hello, shopaholic tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Manal's FF1 NES ROM hack with me, Blue Ankylo. Yay! Still live, still in charge, in command. Uh, we did a little bit of shopping. Spent that money. We used to have 40,000 gold. It's gone. <laughs> we had it. It's gone. Um, we didn't really buy any weapons because we'll just find our weapons as we go. We didn't really buy any armor because we'll find our armor. We could have bought a poison bow for Shin. That might have worked. Apparently, poisonous enemies are weak to being poisoned, according to the guide. So, be interesting to try. Uh, but technically, the wear sword causes poison anyway. So, there you go. Good deal. I'm not sure if the poison arrows are stronger. I didn't look it up. Uh, but what I did do was buy some magic. So, we've got Confuse, Remedy, which is AoE cleanse for the whole party. And cures most elements, most statuses, outside of, like, death and stone. Anti-ice, and AoE, dark plus sleep. So sleep 2 seems possibly good. And then, of course, the standard ice 2, fast spell. And stun is also AoE, and we looked it up. This is time elemental. Lower accuracy than sleep, but also, once stunned, enemies very, very rarely recover. So it's a little bit more powerful, long-term stun. Uh, and then Confuse, we haven't had a chance to use that much, but in theory, Confuse might be good. Uh, and that's it. I think that's all I spent money on. Oh, I bought Ruse, you know, whatever. Um, and that's it. Oh, oh, yeah. I bought a bunch of potions and softs and pures. Yeah, yeah. That's where the money went. That's like 10,000 gold in heals and like, I don't know, 5,000 gold in soft and then a few hundred gold in po pure potions. So we're going to go to Earth Cave, but, you know, we can dock wherever we want. So no need to walk the normal route. Um, one question someone had was, could we just go straight to Sardas to get the rod and not have to double dip Earth? That would be great. But I think the developers are on to you. Because there's now rivers over there. So until you can go through Titan's Cave, I don't think you can sneak into Sardas. And I'm pretty sure he's still going to want that ruby. So, so, sadly, no luck on that. Um, so we've got a Silver Whip, which should be good against Undead. Uh, most We've got a Rune Sword that can paralyze. Stun Touch is kind of OP, honestly. A Wear Sword that can poison enemies, which is better than the normal Wear Sword. And, um, oh, this is the Sleep. This is bad. I don't think we have a single spell that protects against status like Sleep. Like, this, this group... Five sleep imps, that's just not cool. I mean, we, you know, we managed to escape, but that's still, that's a real troll fight for sure. Oh, it's always worth a try, David. It's all good. Okay, Earth. Let's go see what the trap tiles are like. As if it was a randomizer with a black belt. The double giant, that's pretty vanilla. Um, what could we try to kill giants? could try to poison them. They got lots of hit points. We could try to confuse them. Let's let's go for uh, maybe sleep right off the bat. Sleepy Giants. Got one. And then... I guess sleep and dark. I'm just, I'm just being, just having some fun. We did get him with a Confuse. So Confuse, I don't know, how, that does last longer than normal too, I think. 99 damage, not too bad. Got the stun touch off. Oh man, maybe that's the real strat. Woke him up. The other one's still paralyzed. He'll be gone for ages. That guy's still confused anyway. He's no longer confused. But that guy is still confused. Oh, maybe he's no longer paralyzed. That's what happened. It's supposed to be like a 10% chance to get a paralyzed. Honestly, those giants... For the low level we are, that was really easy. I think statuses are really the way to go. Um, usually it's tech... Like, if you ever play the randomizer... The step we took to the left here is technically a different encounter. It's just in vanilla, they're both two giants with two iguanas normally, but it is possibly a different encounter, so I just wanted to check.
Got him with the poison, I think? Interesting. It's really neat having, you know, we get to return the favor and put statuses on our weapons now, which normally you don't get. Let's, I, I'm a fan. I think what I'll do is I'll try to clear the first floor and then we'll just go back to the inn and, and rest up our spells anyway. Got the paralyzed touch again. That's beautiful. And that will scale based on how many attacks we get. Because it's... Every hit is a chance to paralyze on, on status attack. So... Hmm... And it's happening pretty regularly. That was another paralyzed touch there on Squatch Meal. Okay, this rune sword is way better than normal. Confuse used to make enemies use the fire one spell on their allies. Just fire one, so base 10 power um, fire. It, it worked okay against enemies that were weak against fire. Uh, I believe for this one, the, in, in the patch, or in the, in the guide I was looking at, it says enemies do half strength attack. I don't know how that works though, to be honest. I think these guys are weak to fire. Pretty weak. They do they do hit pretty hard if you don't have a lot of absorb, but not a lot of defense, weak to fire. Decent XP. Okay. Let's just throw a tent. We can fight a bull. That's that's bull. That rune sword is really I'm I'm in loving it. Squatch Mill's doing a great job. Good damage and paralyze hit. Yeah. I mean, 100 damage is not impressive. Well, it's, it's impressive. If you had a silver sword, it would be probably better on a fighter normally, but... Um, well, Elflin didn't sell silver swords. Yeah, that's a bunch of dumb snakes. Not interested. Alright, money and earth. He looks even browner than usual. Ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna hit hard. So let's... So they're usually weak to fire. Eh, that wasn't very good, 50 damage. He does hit really hard, so absorb is kind of sensible. Um, Maybe a normal fire, I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure how much danger we're in here. I'm assuming these guys are going to be pretty resistant to elements. Some some whips might get paralyzed. You have to double check it. Uh, the one the silver whip that Thor has right now is actually good against undead. Uh, it's got uh, the undead slaying property, kind of like the sun sword should have. All right. Um. Earths are pretty tough. That's pretty much like vanilla. They hit really hard. They got a lot of HP. They're pretty tanky. You generally can't run from them. The first time I fought one when I was a young Ankylo, I thought that was the boss of uh, the Earth Cave because its name was Earth. And the, you know, the, the Earth is rotting. There's an Earth Fiend. I didn't know it was a Lich. I thought that was it. <laughs> All right, so his chest just had like 1,200 gold, nothing special. Let's see if we can get to these other two chests. I mean, yeah, I mean, Earth Elemental, Earth Fiend. There was just exactly one of them. Kind of looks like a boss. If you came here, if you're if you're playing this for the first time, one Earth is like a boss fight, probably. Green Ogre, not Giant, Green Ogre. Um, I can't remember if they have any anything that makes them difficult in this hack. They're a little bit higher level, I think, than uh, the vanilla green ogres. Because the shaman took their spot as ogre level 2. But um, if they don't have magic, they're going to be easier than a shaman for sure. I guess I could kill bulls. Alright, so the first floor items were pretty much garbage. Let's fight one more Earth. Um, Ruse. So, 
I think most of the evade stacking spells got cut in half. So you have to cast them twice as many times. So I actually think armor buffing spells are a little bit better than um, than evade buffing spells now. Because this is a flat minus 10 damage per hit. Evade, you have to spend a lot longer to feel like you're dodging consistently. Let's go with fast here. Still only 95 damage. We could try stuff like dark. I don't know. It's earth element. I don't know if there's any specific spell that would work on it. That's pretty good damage. It should die next turn. There we go. I should get him. I'd say good use for the fast spell, honestly, myself. And we are level 9, so we got one level up out of it. We're still a fair ways from level 5 spells, but maybe by the time we kill uh, Vampire and then come out of here, it would be nice to have a level 5 spell ready for Lich. You know, as you do. That's a lot of ooze. I don't think I have any more. Yeah, I'm out of uh, AoEs, so let's just run. What if the green mage promotes and then can start summoning, uh, like, uh, like espers, Bahamut, Ifrit, you know, all that stuff. Wolves, man. I guess I could have used a house. Um, I only have two and money is, well, these are vanilla house prices, so 3,000 gold per house. So, I'm going to make the executive decision to go back to the town. Um... We didn't get anything on our first dive, sadly. Alright, let's try again. Next dive, we'll try to kill the vampire and get out. I won't mess around fighting uh, Earths and stuff. And giants. Yeah. We could certainly grind on giants and get some level ups if we wanted. It wouldn't be too bad. The giant grind versus the mummies in Northwest Castle... Fairly similar, just depends on what your party composition is. If you've got Fire 2, Harm 2 sweepers, the mummies are usually a bit quicker. But if you've got a black belt that can do like 300 damage per hit, the giants are pretty easy. <laughs> and this fight is going to use a lot of resources. <laughs> mm, please escape. Thank you. Good job, Thor. That's definitely a battle where one one bad ambush could be a game over with that fight. Yeah, I'd love to get, uh, you know, Final Fantasy 3 style summons. Hey, there's the Skull Staff. Now, I don't actually think that's better than the Power Staff, because the Power Staff has um, uh, stun chance. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not going to switch over, but I'll, I'll refer to my guide here real quick. Skull Staff is Poison on Hit, Status Elemental. The Power Staff is Stun on Hit. Uh, oh, no. The Power Staff is Status Elemental. The Skull Staff is Death Elemental. So the, the Skull Staff will do bonus damage to enemies weak to death if they exist. Probably humanoids only, if that even is a thing. Um, but the Power Staff Stun is better. And actually, the Power Staff is three more damage anyway. So Skull Staff... You're probably just going to get sold. So I think when I find new items, I'll try to give you guys a uh, description of what they do. Because I've got those nice guides on the side. It's pretty easy. Oh, that's right. This room is earth guarded in vanilla. It's usually not worth it to come into this room. Because you have to fight this thing twice just to get the three garbage treasure. And I need to save my slots. I need to, level level three Earth Cave is very dangerous. I don't want to. It'd be nice if you could hit him with dark. I don't know. No luck. He is like an elemental. Twenty absorb hopefully is enough to take the bite off. Yeah, this was not worth it. Unless unless there's a treasure in here that's really good. Fighting this guy twice. Probably a mistake. Good turn order. Ah, I was hoping we got a double kill. Double hit and kill. 
I know I could throw more spells at him, but... Dang. I'm hoping we can make it down the vampire. Dragon sword, okay. Lots of money and a dragon sword. Now, I was just saying I like that rune sword a lot, so it's gonna take a bit to convince me to upgrade here. The dragon sword has three more damage, 1% uh, higher crit rate. It's effective against dragons, and it is technically fire elemental. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. A lot of enemies in here are weak to fire, like literally the earth elemental. Hmm. That's, that's actually... Hmm. Hmm. 2741. It's definitely stronger. No stun touch, but... Maybe everything in here... The undead are maybe immune to stun, and elementals are immune to stun, maybe? I don't think we have anything, any casting items yet. I think I checked the power staff, didn't do anything. Two hits, 105 damage. That wasn't more than normal, unfortunately. I was hoping the fire would do like, notably more damage, the fire sword. Come on, kill him. Doesn't really feel like it's doing more damage than the rune sword, as far as I can see. I'm not like the guide says it's fire elemental, but it's hard to prove that it's actually working in the game, you know. But we survived. I've got lots of cure potions or heal potions, so we're fine for now. That should be everything on the second floor, but the third floor is where it gets, you know, spicy. Classic. The enemy encounters on the third floor are just worse. Alright. I'm still gonna go for treasure. Kill it. You know that one at the top has gotta have like one hit point left. I don't want to use my lightning two on three wizards. Sheesh, they do so much damage. If someone dies, we're in trouble because we don't have a life spell yet. Uh, I was really hoping Squatch Meal would be one-shotting them by now. You know, maybe if I had the rune sword, he would. If they if they technically count as spellcasters, the rune sword would probably be better here. Hmm, how do you decide which sword to go with? Stun touch kills wizards. In theory, kills wizards. Slightly less damage. Hmm, hard to say, hard to say. Oh good, a tent. On this fight... This is why I... This is, this is, these are the groups I'm saving my fire for, basically. I don't... If I have to use Lightning 2 on Wizards, I will, but these large Stun Touch Undead are just... If you don't manage to escape instantly, they they can stun lock your group so fast. Out of the way, where's my NPC guillotine? Uh, two Eye Mages we don't need to worry about. Just run away, run away, run boy, run. Health... Okay, here we go. Now we're getting to the interesting stuff. All right. Health bracelet. What is a health bracelet? There's no health bracelet in the base game. The health bracelet is equipable by anyone. It is not as defensive as the iron bracelet. So this is kind of between copper and iron or between copper and silver normally. But it does provide two status protections. I'm just going to look them up because... I wouldn't know them normally. So that's... Uh, green sparkly and purple sparkly. Poison and status, maybe? Green and purple, yeah. Green and purple's poison status. So those are our first status protections. Um, it's not quite as strong as a uh, iron. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can equip it. 
Uh, but it's better than copper, so it's in between. So 12 absorb versus 17 absorb. But now Thor uh, should be resistant to poison and stone. Like being no 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 petrification, no poison status, and maybe no sleep, etc. status, which means might be able to pull off a remedy. Maybe. Some statuses spells are still time elemental. And in the vanilla game, not a lot is time elemental, but nowadays there is some, like literally the stun spell, so. So if somebody gets status, it might be because it's a new element. But at least poison and status, the typical status element should be covered. So I think that's a good get. It's definitely no ribbon. It'd be like... This work? Stupid wizards. Hate wizards so much. Always, always hate the wizards. So I put the rune sword on. It's not even doing any more damage. It's possible the bonus damage. Um, I actually really don't want anyone to die here. Uh, it's possible the bonus damage weapon effectiveness doesn't even work. Oh, so I put anti fire on, and then they cast lightning. Hilarious. That'll teach me. Should always just go for mute. Mm. Just hoping for a status affliction, but we're not getting much. They have the heal spell. If you couldn't kill them quickly in the marsh cave, they would start healing themselves. That would be pretty brutal. Wow. To be fair, a lot of the times, a, like a fire, ice, lightning spell is going to be weaker than their regular attack. But that's interesting, the, the design change, right? Like, from the vanilla... Um, the vanilla wizards. Usually they have no magic, they just hit really hard. Bunches of monies. I've got to I've got to conserve some spells here, though. We, we've got a long way to go. Got to kill the vampire and then un back... We're like, we're not even halfway through, basically. <laughs> Gotta go all the way back. Mm. Okay, good run. That that encounter just scares me every time. The only thing worse maybe is an ambush by cockatrice. So this is another earth tile, but you know, you gotta do it. Oh, I should have equipped the dragon sword again to check that out. Hmm. Getting a bit low on spell charges here. This is the last Earth we're going to fight. Oh, we paralyzed touched him. Ah, so the Rune Sword is superior. I don't care about a little bit of extra possible damage against enemies if if the fire effect works. That's nothing compared to paralyzed. Yeah, I think that I think that sells it. Dragon Sword might do a little bit more damage, but getting a lucky paralyze off is just so much better. All for a thousand gold. Well, Still worth it. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure warp is promotion locked, and I don't have level 5 slots anyway, so. Okay, vampire goes first. Wonder if he's got any magic. Might as well try. 100 damage isn't too bad. This is sort of what I was saving my fast for anyway. Bad turn order, but... Yeah, Dazzle's not too bad. It's stun, but... Of all the things he could pull off. I want to save a couple level 3 charges for escape. He is, you know, undead. The Holy Whip should do some damage if Thor attacks. Can we just throw a regular fire? Eh. Holy Whip. Well, Silver Whip should do bonus damage to Undead, in theory. Okay, the Vampire is the speed bump he always is, so no big deal. But you never know in a ROM hack when they're going to buff up one of these guys, so... I was trying to be 
cautious, you know? There's definitely a lot of encounters in this ROM hack that are way more dangerous than vanilla. And it's hard to know in advance. Yeah, usually warp and exit are promo locked. Um, what else is classically locked? Um, high level stuff, 6, 7. Well, I think white mage, black mage can learn almost everything up to level 6. Just not warp and exit. And then level 7 and 8. Like, 8 is entirely promo locked. If you're a red mage, it's weird. <laughs> Nobody ever memorizes what a red mage or a red wizard can learn. That'd be insanity. And then because we've got a green mage, who knows what a green mage promotes into even. Alright, I've got two charges left. Burn one here. We're almost out of the third floor, which is the danger zone. Take level 10. If we're going to go fight the Lich, we might want a couple level ups, you know. We are, I would say even for vanilla, we're a little bit on the low end. Like, if this was vanilla, we're probably right on track level-wise. Like, level 10, 11, 12 is fine for Lich. As long as you've got a good group composition. Um, in the ROM hack, though, that might mean we're a couple levels under, possibly. But now that we're out of the third floor, we should be pretty safe. There shouldn't be much left that can kill us. So, all in all, that was a one and done run of killing the vampire. Um, again, in a rom, in a, in a challenge up rom hack, you never know. It could have been. This is getting really annoying, spiders. Uh, it could have been way worse, you know. Uh, and I think we did get lucky. We didn't see any cockatrices. Uh, the undead packs never ambushed us. Uh, we fought a couple wizard groups, but no, no nine packs of wizards. I think those are only in Ice Cave, right? I think you get six packs in Earth, but nine packs are in, uh, at least theoretically they're in Ice, which is not very nice. Definitely, uh, if you're playing solo, that's one of the worst things to run into. All right, we don't need this copper bracelet. Let me check my gear. We didn't get a whole lot down there, honestly. The, the health ring, the health bracelet, a dragon sword, which is debatable, the skull staff, which I think is, we might as well just sell it. We can actually buy them. We've seen them in the store. So there's no need to hold on to it. And that gives us enough money that like, we could just buy a couple level five spells now, even though we're not gonna be able to cast them for a little bit. Uh, and just to double check, oh, it looks like it's not promotion locked. We can learn warp right now. If we had a couple levels, we could warp out a vampire. That's nice. All right, so fire three, obviously. Um, rasp is like drain. Rasp is like, uh, it's basically drain. It's the same as uh, the one, the one that Thor has, uh, sap. It's just a little bit stronger than sap. So, probably bad. Um, Bio 2, I'll have to look up exactly what that does. Thor can learn life, but none of the standard white spells. So, life is good. Probably Bio is uh, Thor's primary spell then. Can't learn Rasp. In fact, that leaves us exactly three spells. So, it's Life Warp Bio 2. So Bio 2 is like their primary level 5 attack spell, if you want to call it that. And then... That means they have to learn Warp. Because, well, that's their third slot. Um, I might give Warp to the Black Mage, maybe. Or Rasp, that is. Let's, let's just make sure someone's got Warp for now. And then the last spell, what was it? Oh, life. You know what? It's probably MVP. If you need it, once we can cast it, ability to cast life is very important. And that's the only three spells Thor can learn, so set. And then Kerm, we'll pick up two more spells later. I mean, we can't cast any of this stuff yet anyway. See you later, Figo. Have a good sleep. I'm not sure if this is faster by boat or by walking. But I like, I like the fact that we can dock wherever we want, so. 
You never know. There could be good treasure in uh, in Titans. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't put a tent down? I'm an idiot. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known ambush sleep. Try this again. Tigers? We haven't killed any tigers. We could beat some tigers up. And just confuse the tigers a little bit. We got a poison tiger. Weren't they spelled Tigra before? Like, Ari? Try to spread out those statuses. Paralyzed. If I remember correctly, fun fact, um, I think it was the uh, the upgraded tigers, the uh, what were they called? The tier two tigers in vanilla, whatever their name was. Um, great tigers or something. Uh, I think these had like the highest base critical rate an enemy could have, actually. Something like that, anyway. So we'll check out Titan's Trove. There's a candle. Golden arrow. Okay, we'll check that out. Silver hat. Sure. Can you equip silver hats? No. A little bit better armor for Squatch Emil. Can you equip iron hats? No. Okay, so the wear sword is poisonous. The golden arrow will be not. 1557. This is a sick joke. Saber Tooth Tigers, that's the one. Yeah, those guys had the highest crit rate. Not a lot of attacks or damage, but very high crit rate. All right, let me check real quick. This is disappointing. Golden Arrow, nothing, no element. Pretty high critical rate in theory. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong person. You know, this is, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Undo everything I just said. <clears throat> 2431. Oh, look, it's different. <laughs> uh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, I would normally have an archer in the back row, which would be the third slot. Right? Why would an archer be up front? Okay, so that's more damage than a wear sword, but we lose the poison effect, but we get two attacks and a very high crit rate because we're back to arrows. We've been using swords on the archer for a little while. So let's go back to arrows. Uh, I never did buy the poison arrow, but whatever. Um, this is better in terms of damage anyway. All right, cool. We'll see how it does. Thank you, Titan Trove, for giving me actually a weapon that I haven't used before. There's a lot of Zom Wolf. Were Gur Wolves supposed to be zombies? I don't think so. I think they were just like Black Wolves or something. Any secret treasures? Yes? Whoa! I gotta remember to check stuff, guys. It's really easy to forget. It's just a soft potion, but... <laughs> very easily to miss. And we got a rod. Add it to your tracker. Now, question. Should we restock on heal potions before we go back? To the earth. Mm, I should have tried to run. Dang it. Wanted to try out my new bow, but that was a mistake. Always run from stun touch. Unless you've got fire or heart. And if you're playing a solo challenge, just reset. We haven't killed these before, so let's kill some Zom Wolves. I doubt they're going to give us a lot of XP. But we've never actually... You got, you know, you got to kill them once to add them to the Beastiary, right? And they're undead, so the whip is really good. Actually, they give you more XP than I expected. Alright, I think executive decision is stock up on heal potions. Before we go back to it. 
60. I don't trust it. Earth Cave is pretty spooky. We'll go to uh, Earth Restock, I guess. Or Elfland Restock, I guess. I don't think Melman has an item shop in this hack. Probably. Uh, oops. It's so weird with no docks. Okay, come on. Seriously, do I ever get a turn? Uh, our pure potions aren't too bad, but heal potions we want maxed. Ooh, look at that 123 damage bow. It's pretty good. That's that's more than our fighter's damage. Rando mod of balance? I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, so... I could sell the wear sword. I should sell the iron, iron hat. I don't think poison is... I don't think it's worth it. No need to hold on to that. We can buy one back, I think, anyways. If we really want one, we can get it back. There's a lot of armor we never bothered to buy. Oh well, who needs armor? Armor is for people who can't kill their enemies quickly. We'll buy a bunch of pure potions, because we do use those up surprisingly fast. And then max out our heals. And we still have a bit of money. Still got enough save items. Yeah, it's looking good. It's all good, Jaker. Alright, so Earth round two. Don't waste your fire twos unless you have to. Okay, so save. And I'm still going to try to clear the treasure on the fourth floor, even though in vanilla you wouldn't. But in Hackland, who knows what you're missing if you skip those. Stop ambushing me, man. What a bad start. All right, that's more like it. So, so far, I have to say this ROM hack in the early game doesn't feel overly challenging. Well, 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 overly difficult. Like, it's more difficult than vanilla by a little bit. Not, not a tremendous amount. I think this is, this is fair, right? Like, we've had, well, to be fair... The marsh sleep goblins, that was a little bit unfair. There's a lot of enemies with first round AoE, uh, well, crowd control, except they're controlling us. So if our entire group gets paralyzed, slept, muted, silent, or, you know, whatever, any of that stuff on turn one, that's pretty dang brutal. But um, other than that, most encounters have been fine. Mostly. This is a bit rude. You're gonna fight. You're gonna fight wizards on the third and fourth floor. It's just how it go. I can't waste too many of my good spell slots, though. This is why we bought all those heal potions. Yeah. Might not be compatible then. Randomizers are usually pretty finicky on the uh, the ROM you put into it. But that would be neat. Escape! Oh, come on, Jake here. Shin! Okay, good. I do have, like, a couple more Fire 2s available. I just... I'm greedy. I'm hoarding them. Plus, we have to kill the Lich, don't forget. <laughs> That's non-trivial. Non I mean, 
you know, if you if you watch the rando runs, you know the lich is usually a complete joke. But uh, in vanilla, it's not, and in rom hacks. Stun touch, but not a lot of attacks, so they're not as bad as, like, some undead. Thorn whip, new item. Money, money, money. Alright, well. I don't trust this at all. Fire, go. I don't feel like risking the run. Okay, so. We got a new weapon, Thorn Whip. Let's see how it compares to the Silver Whip. So Silver Whip is less, slightly less damage and bonus damage to undead. Thorn Whip is a little bit higher damage and in theory, poison on hit. I think we keep the Silver Whip for now, but we might switch to the Thorn in like the Volcano or something. Because there's no, no undead in the Volcano. Um, but this is a little bit anti-undead, which should work on the Lich, maybe. I guess poison is supposed to work on poisonous enemies, too. It's weird. So, um, in theory, if you're fighting a bunch of, uh, I don't know what's considered poisonous. Spiders? Lobsters? Anything that does poison touch, maybe? Catmans? There's a lot of things that are poisonous, I guess. Bats, get out of my way. Get out of the way. There's a route I have to walk. Silver shield. Alright. We'll just look at the difference here, but uh, 38 absorb, probably going to 40, I'm going to guess. 42, what a deal. Alright, that's all the treasure. So, fourth floor treasure, not super important. Sure, I'll take the silver shield and a uh, thorn whip, but... I doubt we needed any of that. But also, the encounters haven't been killing us, so... Feeling fairly confident. Now, this floor is kind of mildly notorious for giving you random earth elementals. They can be big fat jerks. But you can't run and... well. All right, we made it. We'll make sure we're at max HP just in case. Uh, strategy is ice, anti-ice, anti-fire, anti-lightning. It's undead, so you usually wouldn't trust status effects, but maybe we'll try. Uh, fast up, probably. Yeah. Five hit, four hits, five damage. Huh. Well, we got anti-ice before the ice too, so that's good. Two hits, two damage. Some problems here, guys. Uh, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to put anti-lightning, so Kerm's dead. Now he's just gonna spam us with stun, paralyze, dark, sleep, fire, yeah. Not even close. Didn't even get a chance. Not a big fan of that one. I don't, I don't like that. Let's see if we get a level up. Re think about it for a second here.
We got the we got the paralyze. Honestly, the bow seems to do good damage. I don't know why the lich had so much defense. That was the weird part. We were doing like four hits, five damage. Like what? Since when does the? I mean, we can look up the lich's stat. I think I did say at the beginning of the series I was gonna look up when a boss crushes us. Um, maybe we should look up what the lich's stats are in this rom hack. Let's get a level up, and then I'll look it up. Got the paralyze again. Very nice. We'll just be planning on restocking after we finish our grind anyway. So level 11 or 12, we'll try again with a new strategy maybe, if we can think of one. I even had the rune sword equipped, which should have done bonus damage to a spell casting. Usually, I mean it's bugged in the vanilla, but usually in the rum, in the uh, Randomizer, uh, Lich is weak to the rune swords. Uh, let's just speed through this a little bit. I'd say these giant fights are almost easier than they were in vanilla. Maybe. Because we have the chance to paralyze when we attack. Oh, and then immediately Cam gets mulched. Um, classic. Well, better hope things die. Not like we have any way to heal. I mean, we can throw a potion at him, but that's about it. I guess 50 HP approximately to heal. I mean, he saved his life. Uh, it's better than it used to be. Like... I think if you used a potion in, in normal Final Fantasy, it just hurt. I think it just healed like 20 to 25 or something in battle. 30 always on the menu, but it was weaker than that in combat, I think. I got the poison, not like it matters that much. Poison seems to mostly affect long fights. Where, like, if, if the enemy have a lot of absorb or something, you can't damage them. Then you want to be able to put something like poison on. But on a quick fight, you know, poison doesn't even get a chance to do anything. Even though it is much stronger than it used to be. And of course, enemies. <laughs> In the old days, you couldn't put it on them anyway, because there was no spell that inflicted poison. Um. Maybe just dark. Things a little bit easier. Reasonable. So we'll get a level up after this fight. Let's throw... We already got them darked. Yeah, we don't have the AoE light uh, poison spell yet. It's on the way. Can confuse. Alright, we'll just a auto, auto battle. This should be level up. No? Oh, one more for sure then. Honestly, the status spells legitimately might be better than the damage spells again. Once they're confused and slept, you know, what, what can they really do? They just... If you could get them stunned, paralyzed, sleep, poisoned, you know, confused, all the statuses, all at the same time. All right, well, we've got three level four slots. I think level 12 is when you normally get a level five slot. We might need to go there for fighting the Lich. Let me look up the Lich's stats, because I said I would, and I'm a man of my word. So the Lich has, well, usually the Lich has 400 hit points. Now he has 1,000. Um, he gets one attack, but it's much higher damage. He has Stun Touch, same as he used to. 
He's undead and spell casting, so he should get bonus from rune and silver. I think he's got basically the same spell set. Ice 2, Sleep 2, Fast, Lit 2, Stun, Fire 3, Fire 2, and then Bio 2, but mostly the same set. He's got 50 Absorb. I think that's way more than normal. That's insane. Wow. 50 Absorb on, on Lich. I'm actually going to look up what NES Lich adds, because I feel like that's way, way more. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, he normally had 40. Okay. So he has a little bit more than normal. I guess that's just interesting factoids. Base Lich has 40 defense. Minus 40 damage per hit. He's actually not much different in the ROM hack. Except that Sleep is better. Sleep 2 was single target. Sleep 2 being multi-target means his second spell is way more deadly. Um... Fire 3 is an upgrade. That's scary. Bio 2 is a big upgrade too. Yeah, so he's definitely more deadly than normal. And also, of course, 10 more absorb and more than double HP. I'm getting the feeling that we might want another level up. <laughs> Just kind of feels that way. Oh, come on. I hate this. What a troll fight. Just... Here, everyone fall asleep, and then let's heal ourselves. That's gross. Hmm. Now, I'm not... I'm not saying that the Lich is unfairly powerful yet. But he's definitely a significant upgrade over what we've got. And I'm not sure... See, like, we could get a couple level ups fairly quick. But I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make. In combat, we can't poison. Life doesn't matter. Like, like Thor getting level 5 spells will do nothing. Fire 3 is pretty strong. But it's not like level 5 magic is going to make a huge difference here. So what is there to do? More hit points, slightly higher magic defense. That's, that's, I always, that's, that's when I start to get a little bit concerned. When, um, a level up, you know, the classic RPG style is like, oh, you had a difficult fight. Maybe you should do a little bit of grinding, get stronger. But sometimes a level up makes almost no difference on your actual power or your chances, right? Like, if your chances don't actually go up, then the grinding isn't really helping. The person with uh, Fire 2 is immediately put to sleep. It's not working out very well with the mummy battle. Also, I think they used to have 80 hit points. So doing 89 and not killing them. It looks like they're a little bit more survivable for uh, getting hit by Fire 2 than they used to be. And sadly, we don't have any nice white mage holy spell that could also kill them. Just to speed it up a little. Well, it's almost an hour for the future tubers. Trying to think of a good way... I, I'm trying to think of any strategy against the Lich that will give us better odds. I'm kind of a little blank right now. I think I'm going to end the episode. And get one more level up while I think with the live tubers. Maybe, maybe some live tubers will have a suggestion. You, you never know. Crazier things have happened. Uh, but we'll get to level 12, 
maybe I'll go back to the fourth floor, grab the treasure, and then it, it, it get out of there. It's a long walk out. But that way on the lich dive, we don't have to worry about get, grabbing that treasure. Anyway, I'll do that between episodes, because you've already seen the treasures anyway, and it's nothing that important. And I'll try to figure out what would help us... What would actually help? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Future Tubers, and have a great day. We'll see more Manel's Final Fantasy 1 next time.